Oh, yeah, family, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God our glory, our honor, our praise. For this right here is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word. See what the word say. Morning to you. Morning, each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the morning motivation family. We appreciate you. We love you. God bless you. Get into this word, man. I see y'all logging on. Good morning to you, brother Terrence. Sister D, good morning to you. Diana, good morning to you. Good morning time, man. Good morning time. Oh, yeah. Y'all see it? I ain't make it up. It's right there. Just for the cold, good morning to you. Oh man, good morning to you. Yeah. Mr. good morning to you, baby. Dee what's up, Cubs? Sister the pound. What's going on? Big hugs to everybody. It's morning time. Oh, yeah. Y'all know how I God is great. Listen, man, it's morning time, y'all. It is morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God all glory, all honor, all praise. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning to each and every single y'all, who, one of y'all who are still logging on. <clears throat> Shout out to Deacon Beak. Shout out to Deacon Doc, Mother Hoyt, my brother Pre. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my cousin Didi. Shout out to you again, cuz, on Instagram over there, Big John Russ, uh, my niece Daisy, Sister Cheyenne, Deacon and Mother Robinson. I see you on here, Sister Natasha. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Yeah, man, um, we're about to get into this word and see what the words say. We're in Luke this morning. Luke chapter uh, 18, and we'll be looking at verse 1. Luke chapter 18, and we'll be looking at verse 1. But I um, encourage you to read verses 1 through 8. Luke chapter 18, we'll be looking at verse 1, but I encourage you to read verses 1 through 8. Shout out to y'all who will be logging on at a later time, those who are in the views. Y'all don't like, y'all don't comment, y'all don't share, y'all don't make yourselves known, but you are a part of the Morning Motivation of Family. And big shout out to those who always hit that share button. I see you, Keyshawn, my little cuz, just hit the share button. Thank you for putting the message out and getting the message out to some people that may need to hear the word. They don't got another outlet. They ain't grown up in a church family. They really don't understand what this whole faith and religion and, and belief, they don't understand any of those things. Sometimes when you try to break it down to them, they get confused. So thank you for hitting that share button because now you bring them into a whole family of believers. And what we do at Morning Motivation, man, we put out, hold on, come on in. This is what we do at Morning Motivation. Y'all come on in real quick. We put our arms around each other, man. We love on each other. We support each other. Big hugs to everybody, man. Luke chapter 18, we'll be looking at verse 1, but I encourage you to read verses 1 through 8. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this morning, we humbly come to you in the mighty name of your Son, Christ Jesus. God, we came to give you glory, honor, and praise. Lord, we trust in you. We believe you. We thank you for being who you are and that you change not. Everything around us, changes but you are the forever constant in our life and we appreciate you god and we praise you and we lift your name up our prayer request this morning as we gather together in this fashion that you will bless us with wisdom knowledge and understanding of the things that we read that you would allow your holy spirit to guide us into all truth and revelation we thank you we love you in jesus name we pray amen once again luke Chapter 18, I'll be reading verse 1. <clears throat> the word reads, Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and never lose heart. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and never lose heart. May God add a blessing to the reader and the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. Men always ought to pray and never lose heart. 
Another translation says men always should pray and never faint. Men always should pray and be confident. Men always should pray and leave that prayer with God. Jesus goes into a parable and a parable is a story that has a significant meaning. So they call it a parable, but it's a story that has a significant meaning. And he tells this story of a woman who kept, kept going to a judge and he kept going. She kept going to this judge because she needed help in a certain matter. And the judge didn't really care about God. The judge didn't really care about men. But one thing he just just couldn't stand was the fact that this woman kept coming to him. This woman kept coming to him. And so eventually he granted her her request. And so Jesus says that a judge that has no regard of God has no regard of man. But just because this woman just was persistent in her request, granted her request, how much more should our loving father grant our request when we continue to pray? Men always should pray and never faint. We should always bring our cares and our concerns to God, knowing that he loves us, knowing that he, he cares for us, knowing it is he who created us and he has a plan for our life. What does your prayer life look like? Are you constant in your prayer? Are you in constant communication with him? When things seem to not be going right, do you call up your friend or your buddy or do you pray to God? Do you say, Lord, I need your help? Or do you run around and ask everybody else and give them and bring them into your situation and tell them all of your business? Men always should pray and never faint. Make your request known to God. Another scripture in James 5 and 16, I believe it is. James 5 and 16, it talks about the fervent prayer of the righteous avail of much. The effectual prayer of the righteous avail of much. When you come, man, know that your request is heard. But God moves on his timing, not our timing. And because you don't see the microwave effect of your prayer, that's right, the microwave effect. You know, when you put something in the microwave, you hit the button and you give it a minute and it's done. When you don't see the microwave effect of your prayer, don't lose heart. Men always should pray and never faint. Men always should pray and never lose heart. Continue to pray. Continue to believe God that he heard you and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him as long as you have faith. That he can do everything except fail. Men always should pray and never faint. Men always should pray and never lose heart. What does your prayer life look like? What's your prayer life look like, man? It's time to get serious about this thing. I'm talking about it's time to get overly serious about this thing. Time. The clock is ticking, bro. Hey, sis, man, the clock. You don't feel like you done wasted enough time? You don't feel like you done spent enough time going back and forth, bumping your head against the... You don't feel like that yet? What it's going to take? You got to hit rock bottom? I mean, all the way rock, rock bottom to be laying on your back and be looking up and saying, oh, maybe it's time for me to get it together. No, pray. Men always should pray and never faint. You pray, man, you're going to start to see things happen. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes us. And we change our situations, man. Listen, don't take my word for it, though. Get into the word for yourself. That's uh, Luke chapter 1. I, we read, I mean, Luke chapter 18. We read verse 1, but you read verses 1 through 8. Luke chapter uh, 18, verses 1 through 8. And when you read your word, please jump into the comment box and say, I read my word, man. I love y'all. God bless you. Make sure you read your word. I love this fellowship. I love this space that God has created. But man, it's a personal thing, y'all. I mean, seriously, bro. It is a personal thing. It's a personal thing. It's a personal relationship that you have to build with him. That way you know and 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 you know. You know, bro. You know, sis. You, I mean, it's, it's good to be in fellowship. It's good to have a pastor. It's good to have a minister. But man, you know for yourself. You know how to pray for yourself. You know how to lay hands on yourself. 
You know all these things for yourself, man. Listen, faith over fear, God over everything. Together we have made love great again. Love has never lost its power. It just lost its popularity and been a rap a long time ago for that foolishness. That foolishness is one of the reasons why you're feeling defeated right now. Why you can't go further in your life. You're still holding on for foolishness. But man, it's a rap a long time ago. Reflection, accountability, application of this word will prepare you to live out the best of your life. The rest of your life as the best of your life. Um, thank you. I thank you, Sister Chantel, for allowing um, uh, us to be a part of your family, the more and more motivational family. And I'm glad that you this word was applicable. I'm glad this word was applicable for to your situations this morning, man. It's applicable to all of us. We just got to tap in. We got to tap in, man. It's some things going on in the atmosphere right now, man, that we got to pray. Huh? We got to pray. We have no choice. I mean, it's it's bigger than us. It's way bigger than us. And so we got to pray on these situations. We can't even much. We done. Oh, Lord, man, I was trying to wrap up. We done tried our best to fix the situation. And sometimes when we keep going in and trying our best to fix it, we wind up making it worse. Because we ain't praying. We ain't asking God to step in. We ain't asking God to intervene. We ain't asking God to show his supernatural power. He's God. He created the sun, the moon, the stars, and the universes. He did that. He's God. And we ain't praying to him. And we ain't saying, God, have your way. Lord, let your will be done. We just trying to do it out, 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 out of our own strength and out of our own limited understanding. Man, I'm finna get up off of here, man. Mm, 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 mm. Men always should pray and never faint. Y'all come in right quick, man. I love y'all, man, for real. I love y'all for real, for real. I love y'all. I love y'all for real. Big hug. Big hug to every single one of y'all. Signing off, man. One time, family. Shout out to those who still logging on right now. My cousin Nicky, my cousin Sandy. I love y'all. Sister Lucy, I see you on here. Big hug to y'all, man. I catch y'all in the next go round, all right? Sister Rossman. I love y'all. Catch you.